Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be discussing my weight loss journey through this summer and what I plan to do to keep it off through the winter. I cannot believe it's here guys. Fall is almost here. I will be leaving my home in two days here. And I'm so bummed. So if you are new to my channel, my channel here is talking about style and confidence and finding ways to feel the most confident in ourselves that we possibly can. I am 45 years old. I have, since I had my son at 38, been on a constant struggle to kind of keep my weight balanced. I have a constant struggle to find that balance of enjoying things and working out, but still remaining true to me. And when I am here at this house in the summer, I do not tend to be able to work out that much because it is generally during the week, my son and I together. And on weekends, I have people in and out of my house almost every weekend through the summer, which gets a little bit crazy. So this summer, I did start a journey with Arbonne 30 Day Cleanse. I did that May and June. I have a whole video about that that I will post the link down below and up here somewhere. And then I also have an updated, after the 30 days were over, what my results are, things like that. But today I'm gonna to discuss with you guys what I have done since then and what my plans are for the fall. Before I get too far into this video, I do want to mention to you guys that every year through the fall, winter, and spring, when I am at home, I do use a food delivery service. This video is in sponsorship with Home Chef, which quite honestly has been my favorite favorite, favorite home delivery service that I have used. If you follow me back for quite some time, I have used it for about two years now. I did try others before that, but this is the one that I have used consistently and stuck with. So I will be touching base more on that throughout the video. So first let's discuss what I have kept up with from the Arbonne 30 Day Cleanse. The first thing that I have kept up with is every single morning, the first thing I do is I make myself a cup of tea that is their herbal detox tea. In that tea, I put my daily fiber that I do purchase through Arbonne. I also then put a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar organic into my tea. That is not something that is Arbonne suggested. That is just something that my doctor has suggested that is good for me. Put a little bit of lemon and one stevia in and that is what starts my day off. I do do what would be considered, I guess, intermittent fasting. I do a minimum of 12 hours between the time I ate the night before. So let's say I eat dinner and I'm done dinner at eight o'clock. I definitely don't eat until eight o'clock the next morning, but I generally try to go closer to the 14 or 15 hour range. So that would mean it would be closer to the 10 or 11 o'clock before I just ate something. Today being a perfect example, I had eaten my dinner last night. I was done around 7.30, and the first thing I just ate was at 11.30 right now. I just ate something before I started this video. The thing I tend to eat first almost every morning is one of two things. I either do what is considered a protein bowl. I do not like protein shakes, a protein bowl. I will put the link, as I mentioned, in the description box to my like updated 30-day cleanse because I do walk through my tea and the protein bowl that I use, or I tend to just make myself some eggs in the morning. During the day at the beach, I tend to, if I have a sandwich with me, I do it on gluten-free bread or a gluten-free wrap. Um, if I am doing just snacks because I eat my breakfast, quote unquote, later, um, I do gluten-free snacks such as rice cakes. Um, I found some really good ones from a brand called Dang that also makes like shredded fruits and things. Um, I like those. I tend to take fruits with me to the beach hummus and vegetables and things like that. I use nut thins if I'm going to use some form of cracker. Um, and that is generally kind of my things I have throughout the day. At dinner, I try to be as balanced as I possibly can. I live by the 80-20 rule. I try to do more of the 90-10 rule. If I give myself too much leeway, too much rope, I just might hang myself with it because if I start down the trail of sweets, that is my vice. If I start down the trail of sweets, I will revert back as fast as you can think. So I try to stay away from carbs. I will do gluten-free carbs if I am gonna have carbs. I stay away from refined sugar if I can. If we are out to dinner and there's a dessert, I'll have a bite or two, I'll try. If I do much more than that, I'm going downhill. 
Um, I try to stay away from dairy, although here or there, if I'm out in a restaurant, I don't then ask for a non-dairy substitute. I simply ask to remove the dairy from whatever it is. If I have a salad or something like that, I just ask for no cheese is the way I tend to do that. Uh, butters are the harder thing to stay away from when you eat out because I do find that butter tends to be in most things that you are ordering out, be it even if you are ordering fish, things like that. I do tend to go for an appetizer like oysters or I do a shrimp cocktail or something along that line. There are sugars in both ketchup and in uh, cocktail sauce, but I just try to be wary of that. Um, and so dinners tend to vary from day to day. If I'm home by myself, I have an air fryer. Guys, if you don't have one of these, it is a must have. You can throw some veggies in it. I throw some Boca burgers in it. I throw fries in it for MJ. I mean, it has so many different things. Just last week for the first time, I threw a steak into the air fryer. It wasn't like a great cut. It wasn't like a filet or anything. It was a Trader Joe's steak carne asada. It was amazing in the air fryer. When you are by yourself or it's just you and one other person, this thing is genius. It makes it so good. And it cooked the whole steak in six minutes, guys. Six minutes, that is insane. So that is kind of where I've been thus far. Now for the fall, the fall is totally different for me because once I go home to Maryland, my lifestyle changes dramatically. So let's talk about the fall. As I had mentioned in the beginning of this video, one of the main things that helped me stay on track in the fall when I am at home, because I can cook more there. Marty and I eat dinners together during the week. Here at this house, Marty is gone during the week consistently. Usually it's Monday through Thursday night, probably Friday a lot of times. So I have to eat dinners by myself here. Whereas when we're at home, we sit down and all three of us eat meals as a family. And that is where Home Chef comes in. Home Chef is a home delivery service and you, you go through, choose the week that you need meals. I don't need meals every single week. I would say one to two weeks out of a month, I usually use the Home Chef service. And I choose three or four meals. Generally, it tends to be four meals of the week. And that will give me four dinners for the week. Now, I do choose the option for two people because MJ does not always eat all of the options. And I find they give you enough vegetables and whatever the side is that he can have a little bit of that. And I just simply add extra protein in. So I always keep extra proteins of turkey, chicken, steaks, things like that in my freezer so that when I'm making a recipe from Home Chef, I can just add a little bit extra protein and we have a meal for three. There is now also an option where you can add protein through Home Chef, which I think is a really great idea. And I didn't have time to think about it when I placed this order that's coming up. So I'm gonna look into that for the next one. If you guys are interested, I'll give you an update on that as well at a later date. Do you guys like to see a video on me receiving a Home Chef in, how I choose everything, to getting it in, to cooking it during the week? Um, I get a lot of great recipe ideas that way as well. I'm able to refer back if I want to recreate something or if it's not an option that's available at the time and I want to do it again. Um, so that tends to be, I'm kind of going to work my way back. That tends to be what I do for dinners. Now we do eat dinner at home Sunday through Friday at our house. It's just what we like to do. Every once in a while we will go out on a Friday or a Sunday night. Saturday nights generally we do have date night and go out to dinner. Again, I stay with those same principles that I had throughout the summer of just watching what I'm eating while I'm out. Now going back during the day, my vice tends to be if I am not super, super, super busy every minute of the day is when I go for snacks. At the beach, it's easy not to go for snacks because I don't have them there with me. But when I'm at home, I tend to then pick and grab and things like that. So what I tend to do when I go home, because I don't have a lot of food in that house, keep in mind, because I've been here for the last three months or so, that what I tend to do is I start from scratch and I keep nothing in the house that I would be prone to snacking on. I do have a separate cabinet for MJ. Uh, it keeps all of his snacks, all of his chips, those kind of things that I might be prone to grabbing down below. It is at his level. He has bins in there. It is not something that I need to touch or go near, and it works out perfectly because I don't tend to open that up and see. I keep our food in a higher cabinet. It makes it easier and keeps my focus up there. So I try to buy more fruits, veggies, things like that to snack on. I try to stay away from processed snacks because processed snacks tend to be my downfall. Anything that is processed because it's usually refined sugars, salts, things like that, salt bloats you, 
all of those things I try to stay away from. Doesn't always happen, guys. Again, I try to do 80-20, try to stick with 90-10, but it doesn't stay that way. And so I try to stay with those healthier snacks, to snack on some nuts here and there, things like that. If you guys have any suggestions for any good snacks, I'd love to hear about those down below as well. Now for lunches at home, I will say that I vary it a little bit more. I tend to do more of what I did for dinners here during the week when Marty was away. I would do a salad with some form of protein that I can just throw in the air fryer and throw onto my salad or whatever I'm eating. If I just have a veggie that was left over from the night before, I'll have that with a little protein on the side. Any of these things work great for me. As far as breakfast, the breakfast does remain the same as far as what I had here. Another thing that I consistently use that I swear has made a difference in my skin and my body is I every single day take the Arbonne Greens with the Arbonne Digestion Plus. Now, it is not the best tasting drink out there, but it is so good and the difference I have seen in both my skin and my body and just my energy levels is amazing with the greens. It is your daily dose of all of your greens and your fruits in one dose. It is so quick and easy. Trust me, it is worth it. Then you also have your Digestion Plus. Digestion Plus is your daily probiotic. Your daily probiotic helps you keep away that bloat and that belly fat. Now, if you stay away also from salts or try to use like a pink Himalayan sea salt versus a white salt like a that you would typically see a table salt to be, that will also help reduce some of the bloating. I also use Mrs. Dash, which is a great option to have as far as a non-salt option for flavoring. And so far, this has been working for me. So I will continue to give you guys updates here and there. I was thinking maybe I'll do an update around the holidays because we all know the holidays are difficult. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. And because I feel as if that would be something that might be helpful too, like kind of how to get through the holidays without gaining weight basically or something along that line. So that is everything from me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this update video. If you have any questions on anything I spoke about here, please let me know. I love to chat with you guys back and forth. As always, everything I'm wearing will be listed down in the description box. And thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.